Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bobloon, aka Pabloon. Today, I have been wanting to make a video about the commanders, and I'm gonna go through each different class. So, destroyer first, then cruisers, then battleships, and maybe even carriers. I think I might whip out my uh, my Manfred von Richthofen, or even the Wasp, whenever I have to make a video about that. It's not out of NDA, so I can't tell you guys. But yeah, today we're gonna be talking about destroyer builds, and I'm also going to be talking about in each different class video the how linear the you know the commander builds are because there's quite a few at least in the cruiser tech tree commander builds where they're, they're just very linear you don't really go and stray away from one path it's always just middle 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 but here in the destroyers here i found haraguma which is a dd i really enjoy playing i played it for almost all my blitz career and i have maxed it out so naturally i had to find out what commander build i wanted to go with so today we're going to be talking about the traditional destroyer build and a more gunboat focused destroyer build. So you can actually with Haragumo go red or green tree. Red tree, we're going to try the build of going tactical shooter, speed search, and then blitz strike. This is because Haragumo is a gunboat. Take note here, if you were in a Shimakaze, a torpedo boat destroyer, you would be taking readiness. But since I am more of a gunboat player, I, did, I decided to take this. But, you know, Harugumo could also benefit from this skill. But this is pretty funny. Shell velocity, torpedo speed. Yeah, you're going to see it in-game. I'm also going to be talking about how I just generally feel about the commander builds right now. Uh, I, I think most of you guys agree it's too expensive. Like I said, I have 9k gold on my account, my press account. Because I, I, I literally spent 500,000 gold in a matter of 6 hours testing out these commanders. So I think they should lower the prices of the XP and the gold, and they should definitely make it more varied. But I'm going to talk about that in the game. So this is my red tree Harugumu build, and um, we're going to get into the green tree after this game. Okay, so um, we're lucky enough here to get a 4DD uh, game. I, I think they haven't fixed NA yet, but that's fine. I mean, it's not, I'm not really looking for a crazy game here what i'm trying to show you guys is what this is really what i was hoping the commander system would be now some people might say oh you can still do this but where i am discouraged as a player to pick something that is a little different is because you know it's some of these are just unattainable they're completely unattainable in a game getting a double strike i mean and it's not something that lasts the whole game. I think the fact that it only lasts 20 seconds makes it, again, unattractive. They should have made all the skills something like do 30% of your HP or do 60% of, of the enemy team's HP. You know, this should be what it is. Because what, right, what we have right now is there's only one or two set paths for each class of ship. And if you look at carriers, man, it's, it's pretty stripped for them as well. I will admit this. Um, you know, Wargaming have chosen to put them in the game, so they also need to service them, just like they do the other classes. Because I've looked at the carrier trees, and I must say, it's pretty pretty boring. Um, you know, they don't really have any special skills, and I guess they can't really do that. I'm, I'm sure they will focus on surface ships, but... Yeah, that's why I don't really want to make too many videos, because there's, there's not too much to say. They all run on the same build. My Henry, my Petro, they pretty much all have the same build. Um, some minor differences, and that's it. Alright, so let's get in the game here. See what we can fish up here. We have a Yodo, we have a Golo. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna help my my Gdansk here. Okay, Mr. Moby is already down. Maybe we can't even activate these skills. Alright, we're just gonna start spamming this Rogolo. So Harukumo is, like I said, one of my favorite ships. And because it's like a hybrid between a Shimakaze and, a, and a, some sort of gunboat, it actually is, like I said, one of the few ships that benefits from having two paths you can go down. You can go down a more traditional DD path, or you could go down the more light cruiser path, which is what we're going to do after this. I'm kind of excited, I must say, to try the light cruiser path. So we have two fires, guys. We need five more to activate the... I think it's, what was it, the better shell penetration or something? I can't remember. I'm gonna put it in the editing so you guys can see. 
But yeah, this is pretty much just, you know, standard Harugumo play. Spam some guns and torpedoes. I think we got our third spotting there. That's why we... That's why we got a firework there. Beautiful. Man, this Montana is not having fun. We gotta... Okay, I think we have our fire soon. We need one more, guys. One more fire. Don't remember what that button is, so I have to use my mouse. Oh, God. The Yoda is still right there. Okay, this. Send one torp to that guy, and then we're gonna wait. Send a couple to the Yoda if we can. We have to stay bow in here because there's a DD right in front of me. I'm very happy we did not push out there because that Somers could have done us dirty. Alright, we got our seven fires. So let's see, look at that shell velocity, guys. That's what we get there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, this is gnarly. So, the commander builds is still very fun, of course, but, yeah. There's not enough variety, in my opinion, and I hope that we can get some small changes to make some skills easier to get, aka more viable, and some skills completely changed as for the requirements. Oh my god, is this, this Montana is just getting kicked on, bro. I think I'm gonna have to turn in. Look at the shell velocity, guys. This is... I mean, it's going to be hard to pick between what build is best for the Arugumo. We are getting shot, though. So this is actually the... Yeah, this is the red tree. Shell velocity skill. Very nice, like, indeed, actually. We get another skill right there. That's movement. We, we turn faster and our ship accelerates faster. So let's see if we can take out this Somers here. This, speed, this is the speed surge skill. That's what it's called. So, you're pretty much toast now, I think. But look at the shell speed, man. It's really nice to have this in a DD dogfight. Oh, we barely survived that. Oh. This is such a close fight. And Victor's actual, man. Oh, no. 1900 HP, dude. <laughs> Can't fail this. Oh, you know what? I have to just back off. I have to back off. We back off. Yep, we back off. Alright, so that is honestly a very viable build. And what I'm trying to reach here, guys, is the fact that the, the, the cool thing about these Commander Talent Trees is, you know, you get this final reward for reaching the max level with your ship. That is, you can now finally specialize, is what is my ship's role? What do I want my ship to actually do? And yeah, like, like I said, right now it's not like that. Okay, so this Somers is still out here, guys. It's pretty scary, honestly. We're pretty close to dying here. Torpedoes right there, man. Oh, no. Can you imagine how Gumu would last then? <laughs> Another set, okay. Summers is, uh, he's trying his best. Oh my god, we're spotted, no way. There you are. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I have a smoke. I have Konichi Mikawa, it's a very busted commander. Alright, let's see if we can reach that. No, it's a Stalingrad. He's too, so far away. But there is still one more DD left, actually. So, potentially, we, we will find another one to fight. There he is. Nice. He's rushing the GK. All right, let's see what he does. If he knows we're here and maybe might have fired Torps, I don't know. Yeah, I will say I'm very much a fan of Hargumu with this um, shell velocity skill. It's super nice. Makes the ship much easier to aim with, as you can see. Alright, so that was the, the red tree. Damn, I, I, I don't know what to say with it. That was pretty good. I uh, I might have to go that on my main account. Pretty darn good. So, that was pretty funny, seeing how fast those shells were. I mean, Somers 
is a good gun boating DD. Uh, actually, when you think about it, it's got tons of torps and guns. And Haragumo can be hard to hit with because it's got a high shell arc. But when you get that 4% extra velocity, it's really nice. So let's make our build here for the, um, the green tree. So I'm just going to go and take out the skills that I would normally hear with Kunichimikawa. Yes, we are taking Kraken here. Because it can stack with our reload. Because the green tree gives us a fast reload, guys. That is why I'm taking it. And it's, it's one of the few times where this game, this game's new commander builds are actually, they bring variety. What I was hoping was that, you know, we could change uh, the kind of specialization we had for our ship. So, for example, say here you're a Harugumo, go more torpedo focused, you can do that, or you can go more gun focused. If you can hear my cat in the background, he's all right. He's just very vocal. Damn it, Miss Marco, you need to shut up. All right, anyways, <laughs> we got Grease the Gears, guys. We got Armor Piercer, or you could take this, or you could take this. I'm going to come and get into here. If you don't have Konichi Mikawa, who gives you Night Raid, you should take Specialist. Because right now, it actually only, it activates on a kill or hitting an enemy. I've gotten it to activate on many things. It's bugged right now, and I actually think this is one of the ones they should change. It's not viable to get a first strike, and this is why it becomes linear, because these three skills are the only ones you can activate every game, no matter the ship you're playing, or at least if it's a gun-focused ship. This one is hard to activate because it's a first strike. This one takes a double strike. It's hitting six different enemy ships, there might be a guy, two guys that just, you know, go YOLOing down the middle of the game, and you don't even have a chance. This one is also viable, but look, there's just too many skills in here that don't do enough and aren't active you know achievable to activate in every game so that's why i'm gonna go with this build this is the standard gun build man every ship can run this san martin henry petro like all cruisers and gunboat dds can run this and i don't like that because when you look at this thing for example let's say you're playing smolensk what do you really need more shell dispersion or secondary battery dispersion no you don't let's take a look at another example here Activates after destroying one enemy ship while being affected by fire or flooding. This is no, no one's ever going to use this because it, it, it does. It's not a big enough you know bonus. So my point is, in the blue tree, it's literally just this, this, and this. Last stand is too good. You can't not take it. Green, middle, middle, middle. Sometimes middle, middle, left, or middle, left, or middle, left, middle. Yeah, you know it's it's again red tree. If you're playing a destroyer, left left or right you can pick this is the only variety you have and these two red tree is actually pretty distinguished in the fact that it has gunboat and torpedo boat dd but still anyways let's check out this green build guys and that's going to be it for this video so um yeah after that it, there's no more but if you want to see cruisers and battleships i will also do that gladly and like i said cvs even because we need we need to figure out the quirks about this Okay, we got a ton of battleships, which is nice. And we got Invictus act actual on the team. Good to see, man. Encounter, this is actually a pretty good map for Harugumo. It's open. You have tons of smokes, so you can just sit in the open. And I think after this, I want to play, you know, my battleship or a battle cruiser to kind of show off the also very linear way that that is set up because battleships are kind of forced to take one path as well, at least in my opinion. So let's see here. I think we're just going to go straight to the right here. And uh, uh, we're going to get spotted by planes, unfortunately. But yeah, that's how it is. Mm. Never mind. He's actually not doing that. Crazy. Spotting us with the fighters, unfortunately. That's how it is. Phantom is... That's how you know a Minotaur is going to be the first one dead. He doesn't even change his path after being attacked by the CV. Okay, the, the, torp, the Torp's made in turn, but look at that, he's half HP already, bro. It is what it is, Phantom. You're, you're unfortunately the best target for him. He actually didn't die that, that quick. Good, good on you, man. Good to see. It's Hayate here. I think we should just start opening, in, opening up on him. Oh, he's definitely going to hit some torpedoes, I think. Oh! Victor's actual look at that, dude. Yeah, I'm very happy I respected this Somers player in the last game. 
I think I'm gonna have to push out a little bit. Wow, what was that? Colombo. Okay, that's not very nice. And uh, we got planes flying overhead, literally just perma spotting. Right, there we go. We found the ships. I'm just gonna f hit this Monty, I think. Now, there's also a gearing right in front of me, but um, I think we're just going to have to focus the Monty for now. Please use your damage control, dude. That would be a huge if he did that. Alright, we got our first skill. I think that's the respotted people, maybe? He did use his DCP. We get a flood. Huge! That must have been doing the damage equal to 30% or something, because we activated a couple skills there. Right, Montana is hurting. We have 33 seconds for the next smoke. It's on fire. All right, let's get a triple perma on this guy. We have to do a lot of damage to activate our last skill. So currently what I'm just trying to do is just farm as much as possible here. All right, it's F and B for that. I'm still figuring out my key binds. All right, there we go. We got a kill. I don't think that does anything for us. I have to turn because this guy is going to go for us. Yep. We actually only take two. That's good. So we have a CV right there. I think I'm just going to do my thing and start hitting this guy. Yep. Like I said, we need a lot of damage, boys. Oh, he's mad. The, the Columbo's mad. He's firing AP at us. Oh, we're hitting behind him? Really? Come on. Oh, this middle just got lapped, dude. Wow. Nice. Minnesota got him there. Okay, let's see if we can help this Minnesota. Damn. We are really in the middle of everything right here. Is he going for me? No, he's not. Good, 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 good. good. There's still a Colombo right there. He's... Probably eye eyeing us. Okay, no, he's not. They're definitely in our base, though, so we have to. Oh boy. We have to do something here, man. God, move! Go faster, dude! What the hell? They're taking our base. Yeah, I just have to push. Nice, they actually got the gearing, so now we, we don't have to stress. Alright, that's a permafire, though. Double perma, here we go. We're gonna get the... Oh, it was the perma rip. We're probably gonna get the skill here in a second. Because I think we have to do around 80k to get our last skill. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that was for me, but I think it was for the, yeah, the Minnesota. It, the indicators just got me really confused there. Come on. Just, just give me. Yeah, that's a fire. Alright, now we have to find his friend over there, the Colombo. I think, I think he's very dead. Yeah, that's our final skill, and that is going to give us the faster reload, guys. So, let's see if we can notice a difference at all. Once we get all the guns on target, we can definitely feel a difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know what's the best build. I don't know, man. It's hard to know. Oh, my God. There we go. We got him. All right. Columbo's right there. Let's, let's see if he's going to fire his guns. Well, final smoke. 
And we have one torpedo tube left. Oh, he's just burning up, man. <laughs> I think I think the green build might be the best one. And I love having to, you know, pick between. I think that's something that is one of the coolest aspects of a commander, you know, tree like this. Is the ability to choose, pick and choose. There we go, GG. We 106k, man. I, I do think both builds are very viable. But uh, yeah, pretty fun nonetheless. Hope Wargaming can churn out some changes that actually make it so... Yeah, this is possible for more than just a few select ships because it's really linear and I would love for them to change it up a little bit. For this not to become such a long video, I think we're going to make a, you know, we're starting with DDs. We checked out how to play a, you know, Harukumu can both be played in these two ways. Um, but it's very rare for any, any of the DDs to, to have, you know, choice in the matter, pretty much. Like I said, Shimakaze, very simple. I mean, this is what you do. The, the, these two things right here, but you would never be able to take advantage of this or, or this or... Yeah. So, you know, each ship, every ship out there has a best build, but I don't think every ship out there has two viable builds. If that's even possible for Wargaming to do, I don't even know. But I would love for them to try and change it a little bit. So I know this has been a quite a you know random video i guess but a lot of you guys have been wondering where the content on these commander builds have been i've been very busy and uh, full-time job now so things are a little bit different uh but also yeah this is just my opinion i think it's very linear and i think i would love to see them tone down the xp grind as well as the change the skills i i want to see certain skills changed getting a uh, this one, no, not this one. Getting six, to, getting a double strike is almost impossible to do every game. Five citadels should be four. Um, this should not be a first strike. It should just be if you get a kill, you can get all skills one usage. I think. In the red tree here, I think tormentor is. This is not. It's counterintuitive. You should not be getting assists in this game. You want to get a, want to get kills. So what you're telling me is I should stop shooting at a ship because I'm hoping to get my final skill. Again, it doesn't really make sense. But there are some really good skills in here. And, you know, I want to commend Wargaming for that. So let me know if you want to see the Cruiser one where I find ships that, you know, can play multiple builds. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you also want to see battleships and cruisers. So, um, yeah, my name is Ben Bubbly, a.k.a. Pabloom, and I am signing out.